Hello and welcome back my stylish friends. April 2024. This month is all about the sun, sun eclipse, and I was lucky enough to see this for the second time in my life and it's beautiful. I use four different color yarn to create the granny square design that will represent the sun and that will be the special design for this month. You can use four different color yarn as I do, or you can use only three. But make sure that you have at least two different colors for the sun and one color for the background. We will start with chain three, and then we close this chain to make a circle. We will normally do chain three and use double crochet stitch, but with this design, I want to use chain one. And then in the center of my circle, I will make eight single crochet stitches. I want the round number one and round number two to be height of one double crochet stitch. So I'm using single crochet stitches in my first round and I'm making eight of them. Of course, we will do slip stitch to close the round. If your circle is too wide, you can use the tail to close that circle and make a little bit tighter. Right away for the round number two, we are changing the yarn color and I usually make a knot and keep those yarn tails around my stitches to hide them. And again, if that circle is too open, you can take a needle, go one time around your stitches and make a tighter. You can also use the magic ring if you're familiar with that and use that instead. I just like to use this method. Okay, let's move to round number two. You chain two and then you make extended single crochet stitch in the same stitch. You will be making two extended crochet stitches in every stitch. And let me show you how to make that stitch. In order to make extended single crochet, place your hook in the stitch, draw a loop, and pull that yarn through the stitch. You should have two loops, draw loop again, pull through one loop only, and then draw loop and pull through two loops. The extended single crochet stitch has a height of double crochet stitch, but is less bulky. So keep making two extended single crochet stitches in every stitch. And I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, we are at the end of round number two. We are making slip stitch, but before we do that, we will change the yarn color again. I'm using yellow for my sun rays and half of my sun rays will be still orange. So I will not cut my orange yarn yet. Also in this round, I will be incorporating the shadow or background color. Chain three using yellow color yarn. And before you make the last third stitch, change the yarn color. Now with the orange color yarn in the same stitch, you will make one double crochet stitch. And do not finish that stitch because we will be changing yarn color again to our background color. So the last loop we will make with the new color yarn. Okay, let's arrange all my tails before I can move to round number three. In round number three, you will be using yellow and orange color yarn in one stitch. And in the second stitch, you will be making your background. 
So I already make orange and yellow. Now I'm making one double crochet stitch in one stitch. Next, I will make yellow double crochet stitch in the next stitch. And next, I will make orange double crochet stitch in the same stitch that I made yellow stitch. We are increasing stitches by 8. So we did have 16. Now in this round, we will have 24. And we increasing stitches in the color of orange. So yellow goes to one stitch, orange is additional stitch, and background color, it goes to the one stitch. You alternate those stitches all around, and once you complete, you should have total of 24 stitches. I will see you at the end of this round to show you how to move to the round number four. And with the magic of speeding up video, we are at the end of round number three. Double check, make sure you have all the stitches you need. And because we no longer use orange color, I can cut that yarn and I can move to the next round only with yellow and background color yarn. So we're making slip stitch and we start with the yellow color yarn what we will be doing here in this round we will be decreasing the sun portion and increasing the background portion let's clean up this little bit and we can move on there you go much much cleaner Okay, so we have two color yarn and what we will be doing, we will be making now two double crochet stitches together. So because I do not have my one stitch, I will make chain two and then I will connect my double crochet stitch to my chain. But before I do that, I want to change my yarn color and I will be doing this all around. Now in the dark double crochet stitch, you will increase your stitches. So you make three double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Before you finish the last stitch, you change the yarn color to yellow. And right now we can make two double crochet stitches together this will be our decrease and again before i finish the last loop i will change my yarn color and i will move to the background color where i will make two stitches increase so i'm making three stitches and one stitch at the end of this round, you should have total of 32 double crochet stitches. Round number four will be the last round where you work in the circle. The next round we will be making square. So let's finish this round. I have few more stitches to make in this round and I will be closing this round as usual using a slip stitch. And this is the last round also where I'm using different colors. Going forward, I will be using just my background color. So it does not matter which color I will make a slip stitch. I did with my background color, I can cut the yarn hide the end and move to round number five in round number five we want to be sure that our circle will fit perfectly in the square shape we will start with the corner we chain three and then in the same stitch we will make two double crochet stitches that will be half of the corner 
And let me show you what we're doing here. When you look at this circle, you have corners lower than the sides. Your design is a little bit taller. So we want to be sure that on the corner, we're using longer stitches than on the side. Once you're done with the corner, you will go to the last background stitch and you will make two single crochet. Then you make two single crochet stitches in the yellow stitch. And once you do that, you move to the next dark uh, background color stitch and you also make two single crochet. Now we are moving to the second corner and in the yellow stitch, you will make three double crochet stitches, chain two and three double crochet stitches in the same stitch. That will be the corner. And let me finish this and I show you how beautifully this circle is changing into the square shape. You can see nice straight edge and nice corners. And we will repeat the same process on each side and each corner. So we're making six single crochet stitches in the three stitches in the middle of each side. And we're making three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet stitch in the same stitch on each corner. We will continue repeating the same stitches all around. And if you think your square is too small, you can add additional regular granny square round. Uh, my square measure exactly four by four inches. That is 10 by 10 centimeters. Because we're almost done with this project, I want to say thank you for joining me today and crocheting with me. I hope you learned something new and found this project interesting. And I would like to say thank you for all support to my channel, to my Etsy shop. I appreciate every single like or every single share. Believe it or not, this year will be 50 years when I first time took crochet hook in my hands and the same with knitting needles. So I do have some experience and I like to share that with you. Once again, thank you for crocheting with me. I hope you like this project and I hope I will see you next time.